Do we look at another company, Paul? It occupies my brain. Some people off the request lines were saying, like, have we looked at Altria? We've looked at Altria. Yeah, we looked at. Uh, yeah. Let's look at this one. British. So this is British, British American Tobacco. Looks like they're foreign. Mm -hmm. Now we have tons of non-U.S. patrons, Paul. They love us overseas. So, uh, so this is the people... tobacco business, guys. This is not a very uh, listen. Overseas, in 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 more less developed countries, tobacco can grow in terms of the market. Here in the U.S., it's a declining market. Fifty years ago, half the people smoked. Now it's like twenty percent, mm -hmm. right? Which is still and it's declining every year. Countries becoming healthier, etc. So. Tobacco in general, you got to account for the fact that the future is not going to be as bright as the past, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be factored in. We talk about PEs and free cash flow multiples, et cetera. So this is a big competitor to, to Philip, Philip Morris. It's, the, it's neck and neck with Philip Morris International. It'll be the largest listed global tobacco company. Slightly larger than PMI on net revenue, but slightly smaller on volumes. $88 billion company. Here's the big kicker. 7% dividend. Wow. So what is that? Seven fifty-six for six billion dollars a year. Six billion dollars a year in in uh, dividend payments. Wow. What's oh, up? Oh, you're not gonna confirm that? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> oh no, sorry, I was reading comments. Okay, gotcha. Um, so it's about six billion dollars a year. First things first, PE ratio check mark. It's eleven. Thanks, Paul. Profit margin twenty-four percent check mark with a gross margin of eighty-three. Guys, this is huge. Eighty-three. Yeah. So they have a huge gross margin, a huge bottom line margin, and a huge dividend. So far and a low PE. So far, I'm getting a little tingle in my under That's what you get when you area. smoke a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. You only smoke after sex though, right Paul? <laughs> That's um, right. It's a revenue growth, pillar number three, revenue growth over so the past So about once every years. four years. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cute? Good for you, Paul. Thank you. Uh, 20 billion to 33 billion check mark. But this is weird. 20 down to 19 to 25 to 32 to 33. Those are big jumps. So the question is, did they do acquisitions here? So it's still a check mark, but we have to figure out why there's big jumps there, especially considering, look at the previous five years, very flat. So that's always a question about when you see big jumps with a big company, especially when the past was pretty stable, you gotta wonder why that happened. See this I'm telling Paul, folks, if this is new to you and you're learning, it's never too early or too late to learn this stuff. Paul, my, my, my 10 year old just says, oh, 83 cents per dollar earned, I like that. <laughs> What do you mean 83 cents per dollar? The, the profit margin's 83. I mean, for, Profit margin's not 83. I thought you said the profit. Oh, it's gross margin. The gross margin. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's just like that's incredible. Good. Like, it's, I'm telling you, Geo's 10. Nobody in this, nobody <laughs> in this school, not even, te well, especially not the team. They don't know sh crap about this stuff, right? <laughs> they don't know anything about this stuff. They don't know anything. And here's Geo talking about it. Geo's going to be some stock market. Watch us have Geo being like the, the best investor of all time in like 30 years. He'll be the guess what? I started investing mascot. when I was 13. He's faster than me. Yeah. He's sooner than I was. He'll be 11 in April, so interesting. Are we going to um, have a, uh, a pool party? I hope so. If we can... It's April. It's freezing in Ohio State. Right. right. Of course you will. Uh, let's do profit growth yep. over the past five years. Thanks, everybody, for watching. 6.6 to 7.3. Check mark there. And going back to our comment before about operating income, 6.6 .6 to 11.6. So Four check marks so far, Paul. So check marks here, and their operating income is showing growth. 6.6, 6.5, 8.5, 12.5, et cetera. So the business is getting better. Have you ever had a cigarette, Paul? So we went to, Andrew and I went to Hilton Head with our buddies um, the year we graduated. Mm. I was not even 18 yet. We were trying to get into a bar. So they gave me a hat and they gave me a cigarette. A and fake said, mustache. go in there. And I started coughing right in front of the, uh, yeah. the bouncer. He still let me in. Ah, but like, Bill Clinton, like Bill Clinton, you didn't inhale, so. Yes. Um, let's go to number of shares outstanding. We want this going down. This is not good, guys. Oh, 1.86 uh, uh, to 2.3 billion. X mark there. Uh -oh. That's an X. Daniel, we're looking at BTI Tobacco. It's a British company, you said, Paul? Yeah, yeah. British, of course it is. So stupid. Yeah. Um, yep, go ahead, guys. Uh, um, pillar number six is current assets greater than current liabilities, Paul. 20 billion versus 22.8 billion. So another X, guys. Oh, no. Yeah, so two big ones here. They don't have cash on hand to pay their current bills. And they don't, and they don't, and they have a big jump in number of shares outstanding. I don't like that very much. Free cash flow growth, Paul. But Pillar here is seven. the grand daddy, daddy of, all. of all daddies. Let's go. Okay, another company that spends about ten percent, a very low number, less than ten percent of their cash from operations um, on their capital expenditures. So, going back here, six point three 
to 10.5, check mark. The other years are 5.3, 5.7, 12.5. The average is eight, just basically eight. Okay, so the average is eight. The, so in the last five years, they've averaged $8 billion a year in free cash flow. Mm -hmm. Remember also, their dividend yield was six billion. So last year they had about 10 billion, 10 and a half billion dollars in free cash flow. So it seems pretty safe. They've had a lot of increase in free cash flow. They've gone from 6.3 to 10.5. To so eight, you, again, you have to understand, the thing that concerns me is not much revenue growth, but a big profit, but big free cash flow growth. Not much operating income growth, but free cash flow growth. You gotta understand why that is. But I think here, I would say it's a range of 15 to 20. So call it 120 to $160 billion. What was the market cap? 88 billion. Wow. Was it really? 88 billion. So it's selling for 11 times free cash flow. Wait a minute, Paul. 11 a, times free cash flow. Wait a minute now. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Interesting. 11 times. Okay. Now, so now that this piqued my interest, okay. the next thing I want to go through is what are my next questions that I have to go understand? Please do. This is why I need an analyst because I'm. it's hard for me to go out there and do this stuff. So again, my, my son is saying, is this a buy, Paul? Uh, I, I, the things that bother me are bother me enough to say I'm not, I bought stocks going right here on the spot, like, Walgreens, I was like, yep, I want Walgreens at this price, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. This one I'm not, and here's why. I don't like this big jump. Okay, what and jump the number is that of shares, outstanding. shares outstanding. Yes, let's go to their free cash flow statement and look at their acquisitions. How about momentum, Jared, stating? Great point, uh, Jared. Yeah. Okay, all in good time, Jared. Look at this, $23 billion acquisition there. That's a big acquisition. Five billion right here. So in a matter of the last five years, They've made about $30 billion in acquisitions. It's a lot of money, guys. That's probably why they issued all those shares. This was probably part of a big share. Uh, per, uh, per, so you have to understand. Oh, let's see here. I loved you. Keep it up. This actually isn't terrible. This isn't terrible. Arian, thanks for this, uh, uh, being a subscriber. We did uh, Pfizer just, uh, just yesterday. Take a look. Uh, yesterday's video, we'll check, we checked out Pfizer as a company. And uh, students, uh, our new friend from Latvia, Paul, wherever the hell that is. <laughs> we welcome Latvia you. Latvia and Lithuania, right? They're together. Oh, Ayrton said, did we just break Paul? That is interesting. You were stumped on this one, Paul. I'm stumped in a good way. Because um, they issued shares to make an acquisition, right? This is where that big jump came from. They issued these shares. We also had another jump here, so I don't know why that is. They made a big acquisition. Their revenue's up. Is, um, it, is it safe to say that more people around the world outside of the United States are going to pick up smoking in the next 20 years? Um, I don't think the answer is yes. I think as Africa develops more. Africa, India. India, I think China. Um, it'd be interesting to see how that works. And this is an international company just like Philip Morris with a healthy dividend and a low multiple. And by the way, look at their PE, 11. Their free cash flow was 11. It just worked out magically that way.